The judgment of the sheep and the goats is often cited as an alleged proof text to teach a works-based salvation. Despite the plethora of passages that clearly articulate salvation through faith alone to the exclusion of works. Of course, Romans chapter 4 verse 5 says, But to him that worketh not, but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. First and foremost, it's imperative that we identify the audience being addressed. In Matthew chapter 25, verses 31 to 46, the Lord himself shall separate the sheep from the goats, the blessed from the cursed, the righteous from the unrighteous, the saved from the unsaved, the believers from the unbelievers, those who go away into life eternal and those who go away into everlasting punishment. Notice what the Lord says unto them on the left hand. Depart from me, ye cursed, into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. This, of course, is reminiscent of Matthew chapter 7, where Jesus professes, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Despite their many wonderful works done in the name of Christ, they are condemned as workers of iniquity and commanded to depart. Why? Because without faith, it is impossible to please God. Not because they were without righteous deeds, relatively speaking, but because they were without the righteousness of Christ. And they were without the righteousness of Christ because they never did the will of the Father, which is to believe on the Son. Jesus said in John chapter 6, verse 40, And this is the will of him that sent me, that everyone which seeth the Son and believeth on him may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up at the last day. In order to properly understand this passage, we must rightly divide between descriptive and prescriptive. In other words, the collective commendation of the sheep regarding their works does not mean that the sheep were saved by their works. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 says, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, don't miss this, not of works, lest any man should boast. Likewise, the collective condemnation of the goats does not signify that they were unsaved due to their failure to do good works. This passage is simply highlighting the stark contrast between the inevitable future of these two groups. Due to their standing before God, the children of God can only be commended and the children of wrath can only be condemned. If you are not 100% certain that you're going to heaven when you die, I encourage you, my friend, to watch the video in the description below, The Bible Way to Heaven, and be saved today. God bless.